day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, today's project starts on Tinkercad Reddit. So a user asked, how can I bend this shape into a U? You really can't bend things in Tinkercad, but I do have a trick I'm willing to share. Friends, I have named the file U shape, and of course I've started a brand new design. And then I'm gonna quickly build a starter for that track. So I've got a cube, I'm gonna shift stretch, and I'm gonna type 10 and press enter. Now I wanna cut out the groove, so I'm gonna do control D, make the second one a hole. I'm gonna take away two, so I'm gonna make it eight. Let's do L for a line. And we want it to go middle, middle. And then I'm gonna click on the hole. Notice I can tell here I got it. And I'm gonna do control up. So I have just built that U once I group it. So now the trick I wanna show you is called the SVG revolver. So if you type SVG and press enter, It'll bring up all the SVG tools, and the one I want to share is this revolver. So real quickly, this tool needs an SVG. We have created the template for our SVG. What I need you to do first is look at it from a corner, and then we got to rotate it. Right now, if we did an SVG, it would just be a rectangle because it is a 2D reference. So I'm going to do shift, rotate, snap, snap. So now our 2D design has those edges we want. Click on it, choose export, selected shape, SVG. I'm gonna put mine in my downloads and hit save. Now we can click over on our tool. We're gonna choose the file we're gonna use. Once again, we want that U shape, tell it open, and then wait patiently for it to render. Bingo. Now currently it's rotating 380 degrees. We know we wanted to rotate 180 because the user said we were making a U. Now you'll notice that's probably not the U shape the user wants. Well, check this out. If we change the rotation to 90 degrees and wait patiently, bingo. I think that is the U shape the user's looking for. Of course, you can mess with the other angles. Don't forget it looks like you can go 90 as well. You can make it more rounded you can change the inside diameter. I'm gonna leave it, but I am gonna make the sketch height match by typing 10 and press enter. Friends, check this out. If we do that shift rotate, we can stand this up, rotate it around, and bam, it all of a sudden fits perfectly. I'm gonna do W for work plane, D for drop, and then control D shift nudge shift nudge and we have just made a u shape w for work plane i'm gonna shift select these two and we can stretch it out to make however large a project the user wanted i'm not 100 percent sure i've got the angle that don cherry 100 was looking for but no matter what you've now got a strategy where you can start working on finding the right angle to make the one you wanted once again, friends, I want to send a shout out to Don Cherry 100 for asking the question. These things don't even pop into my mind until you guys have those awesome questions. Finally, friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.